Goosebumps as I, they were replaying that, and you're hearing some of the emotion uh, from those players and Nikola Jokic talking about his family. And I love the interview that he did with ESPN just a couple days ago, and they asked him, Joker, where's the NBA Finals MVP trophy? And he said, honestly, I don't know. I gave it to the equipment manager on Monday night. Hopefully it ends up back at my house. That just speaks to Jokic and kind of what this means and, and living in the moment and never getting too high. And uh, and I, I just can't wait for him to take this stage tonight behind us and see this celebration and see all of these fans who are out here supporting this team. Yeah, I'm betting. You know, he plays it down all the time and says, oh, you know, it's not a big deal. And you know, whenever he gets up here and sees the hundreds of thousands of fans like you see in this picture right here that we're showing you, that's along the parade route. Wait until you get up on stage here at Civic Center Park and you get to see other people. And speaking of Nicola, there he is right there with his sweet little girl. Just so awesome. It is so awesome. So cool to see that. And obviously, she's been such a big part of the journey and has gotten well-deserved a lot of television time uh, over the last couple of days and throughout the finals run. And this is... This, I think, means so much more to him, the fact that he's there to do it with his family, the fact that the, his Jokic brothers are, are, are on there, and as you see Jamal Murray on that float as well, smoking a victory cigar and just kind of soaking it all in. And I love that shirt. Playoff Murray? No, it's Finals Murray. And, uh, you know, he hated that Bubble Murray uh, nickname that he got a couple years ago. So nice for these guys to finally have accomplished uh, this moment and finally be at the peak of their NBA careers. So many favorite players on this team, right? I think they all are our favorites. I know listening to Jamal Murray talk after they won the championship, and he just broke down and said to get to this point, to be here after all the surgeries, after everything that he has been through, and then his teammate, of course, never quit. I just... It's a beautiful day, beautiful moment, and I know everyone at home is soaking this in and just enjoying seeing their favorite players, their team, their Nuggets champions come through the crowd, point to them, wave to them, and just say thank you for helping us get to this point. And they've talked about the fans all along that they could not have gotten here if it wasn't for them. And you see Jokic, number 15, MVP there on the side of that ladder on the fire truck. And you think of Jamal Murray and you see the emotion as he continues to parade his way through downtown Denver. Think of where he was just 26 months ago when he tore his ACL in that game against Golden State. Missed the playoffs that year. Missed all of the following season. And people wondered what would he be like when he came back. And he admitted, hey, look, that first game in Utah, it wasn't very good. No, and he, I mean, he said he remembers not even being able to walk up the stairs. Yeah. He's like, I remember, I couldn't even walk. And I'm thinking, how am I ever going to get back on the basketball court again? But he did, and what a champion he is. Take a look at Reggie Jackson there celebrating as well. We had a chance to hear from him earlier. You can only imagine what it means for a guy who played his high school ball in Colorado to now be celebrating a world title just up the road from Palmer where he played, played his high school ball an hour and a half away, and now he gets a chance to celebrate with all of Nuggets Nation out here on the streets of Denver today. Look at those fans. Oh, hundreds of thousands of Coloradans out here loving on their team, loving on this day. So exciting. I know our Connor McHugh, I believe, is out in the... Uh, out there with fans somewhere. Connor, we can't see you, but we know you're just having a great time too. Yeah, Karen, I, I am here with Karen Morfitt, and you can see the mayor and some city officials coming by on a float right now. It is truly impossible to describe the emotions in our city right now. Uh, this is a moment that has been 47 years in the making, and you can just feel that energy. You can feel that passion. You can feel that pride in our city right now. We are down here at the end of the parade route at 13th and Broadway, and we're starting to see many of these come through. I'll let Karen kind of take it over and tell me what you've been seeing out here. Yeah, well, you know, being here at the end of this parade, all of these folks have been waiting just a little bit extra to get to this point where they're be being able to finally see the players come through. And so their excitement is heightened. I mean, they've been waiting for these trucks to come for some time. So let's go check in with Mackenzie and Justin Adams right now, see where they're at along here. They're a little bit ahead of us, so they're going to be uh, with some players as well. We'll send it over to you. Yeah, we are here at 17th and Broadway. You can see some of the players out here. Kids are running up to get there with the players. This is awesome, Justin. This is so cool. It really is awesome to see, especially the kids come out and meet their favorite players as they're going out and celebrating. Um, 
You know, there's supposed to be barriers from what I see. <laughs> the barriers aren't exactly working as much, but you know what? It's an awesome time just to be able to celebrate. Uh, Got a couple of players uh, with the shirts off, to say the least. But this amazing. is really cool. Yeah. Well, it's really cool just to see just the fans be able to come out and say hi. Kids are coming all the way out just to say hello to them and be around their favorite players. Oh like, this gosh. is going to be something they remember for the rest of their lives. Yeah, and they're all, like, the kids. You know, that's what's so cool is these players are, they're, they're idols, right? Yeah. And so being able to see them and being able to go up and walk this parade route with them. So much excitement. I mean, kids just keep running from all angles right now. Well, <laughs> it looks like that's Jeff Green, and he's actually, he wants some more people to come out to the middle of the street as well. And here they come, too. You see just kid after kid being able to come out. Um, they're just coming out. Bruce Brown over there as well. He's out, too. They're taking pictures. It's just a whole lot of fun to see everybody come out and have some fun right now. Well, and I think one of the coolest things about the Denver Nuggets is how much they do love their fans. Yes, you yes. can feel it. You can see it um, through their interviews, post game. You know, they, that's what they've talked about. Their fans are really what keep them going, get them pumped up, and being able to see them welcome this and invite yes. all these kids out here and fans to come hang out with them. It's just incredible to see. But you'll notice they're yeah. having to go back to the sides <laughs> of the parade route here, you right? Just wanna, you want to keep things in order, right? Yes. You know, but you, you want to uh, That's right. But you also want to have fun. They stop the fire trucks a little bit, trying to clear all the kids, make sure that everybody is safe. Everybody kind of goes back right behind the bears where it was. But it was Bruce Brown. It was also um, uh, Jeff Green who are out there just hanging on the fans. Want to have a whole lot of fun. Again, a great sign to see. You see a couple more fire trucks that are right in front of us. Um, you know what? When you think about just parades, you think about celebrations. I mean, being a different native yourself as well, seeing the Broncos go in 97. You saw the Avalanche the year before in 96. Broncos in back to back years, 97, 98. Then they won again in 2015. You had a parade in 16. Then last year, you had the Avalanche. And then this year, the Denver Nuggets. Uh, this is slowly turning into title town right here in Denver, Colorado. This is so awesome. You know, hometown teams, no matter which sport you like, yes. it's just exciting. It's so cool to see this. With that, let's go to Romy. Romy, how's everything looking for you at? 